All right, folks, we got one on. In the first two minutes, we're here using the Jigging Master Wiki Reel. Oh, had, there we go. There yeah. he is. Net cam! Woo! Woo! Cool it, them dogs out. Isn't that beautiful? That is a what? That is a redfish. That's a redfish. Wow. That's a hoo hoo that them dogs out multi spotter. Look at all them spots on it. All right, there we go. 30, Yay. about 31 incher. All right, let me take a picture. We have Melissa on a big red right now. He's smoking some line on the wiki chicken reel. That's what they call that. And she's going to put a whooping on this old big old red bass. Come on. See, if you're from the north side of Jacksonville, it's not a red fish. It's a red bass. <laughs> if you're from North Main Street, <laughs> Jacksonville, Florida. <laughs> All right, he's coming to the boat. Maybe. Carolina puppy drums. Okay, she's putting a whooping on him. I got to get over here and get the net cam ready. She's doing good. Look at her, folks. She's doing good. She's going to put a whooping on this big old red bass. Okay, there he is. He's right up behind the boat. All right. Swing him out if you can a little bit. All right, right into the net. Ooh, he ain't done yet. Come on, baby, net cam him. Keep reeling. Yeah, yeah, baby. Woo! That one's a little bigger, I think. I did better than you. All right, so give us the blow by blow. What was it like? <laughs> Easy. I know you put a whooping on that one. Okay, go ahead and you can pull that off. Ah, there you go. All right, on the old wiki jigging reels, folks. That's what's putting them to the boat. See, now this one isn't such a multi spotter, he's got less spots. Okay. Ooh, and a perfect hook set. Look at that right there. Perfect hook set using the old true turn hooks. Okay. Oh yeah, see the old true turn. See that hook's got that little uh, jog in it right there? And the reason I am trying them just because they're supposed to really work good, that's all. It's just a little, you know, a new mouse trap, I guess you could say. And let's get, well here, I'll give you a, um, since you don't like holding fish, you know, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay, nice. we'll, we'll, we'll do the old boga grip. Well, she was, she, was, she, she was talking about not wanting to hold touch fish. I don't touch fish. All right, now let's see how heavy he is. Here, move your hand right there. You'll be able to see on this side. 14 pounds. 14 pounds. All right, hold them on up. Here we go. Okay, okay. Tur turn him this way a little bit so we can see how big he is. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a real good fish. Well, this is the kind of current that we're fishing, folks. 14 foot of water. 14 foot of water and four ounces will not hit the bottom in 14 foot of water. I just thought I'd show this to you. Monstrous, monstrous current. All right, I had a request about how to get a small fish off of a hook. And I use anything that's a bent piece of wire. This here is some old little crappy hand gaff that I got on eBay for $2. Okay, but it's bent. And anytime you have a small fish, like Jim here just caught this little croaker, right? And you've got a, a decently heavy leader, you can use this to get the fish off. And how it works is you go like this, 
and it gets into the crotch of the hook and I will show you how I do it. What you end up doing is going just like this and he comes right off because you do it a little forceful. And then if he doesn't come off like that, and I'll show it again, you'll flip him. So we'll have everybody catch another one. I'll have everybody catch another one and I'll show you how we do the, the flipping method. I'm Jim to get me another little croaker and I'm gonna show you how we flip them off the hook this time. A lot of people don't know this. You take them and you just go horizontal. You go, there you go. All in one fell swoop. I just flicked them like that. Okay, here we go. We got a little whiting and I'm gonna hit them on the old fisherator. All you need is a bent piece of wire. All right, folks, we're hooked up. Mary's got on the jigging master and it's dumping the entire spool. We don't even know what it is. I'm assuming a giant stingray. Oh my God, look at that. Okay, I'm going further on the drag. Okay. Okay, see if you can pull back at all. See if you can pull back at all and take a few turns if you can. I don't know if you're even going to be able to take a few turns. Oh my God, look at this thing. He's got... I'm going to give him a little bit more even. Oh my goodness. Woo! Wiki it! Wiki jigging master. Oh my God. This is a denizen of the deep. If... Alright, I'll get back with you. Alrighty, folks, it's Wicked Tuna time. If I get some more light on this, I'm gonna hand it back to you. Okay, take your time. This. <laughs> oh, oh, there he goes! Oh my gosh, he's going again. He was letting me pull on him. This is only like 30 pound braid, folks. All these people say, oh, that 30 pound braided Hercules line is crap. Really? Well, let me tell you, this is some kind of absolute denizen of the deep we got right here. This is either a giant shark or a giant stingray. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Problem is with the braid, boy, you can cut your hand real easy. This, you can only afford to do this on the Jiggin' Master. Wiki reel. That's what they call this. We at least need to see them. Is, if this is a giant stingray, how are they sucking up one of those baits? Those little, we're using thread fin herring that are little speedster baits on the bottom with a six ounce sinker. What is it? 30 foot of water. And this dude is on the other side of the St. John's River. <laughs> See, you, every time if, if you were doing it now and you were pulling, you'd be just pulling against its weight. Right. This is enabling me to get some line on it, on the reel. Okay. All right. This rod is an ugly stick Tiger Light jigging rod. In case y'all, in case any of the ugly stick fans want to know. Okay, we're getting close. We're getting closer. He might just run us. Run it into the anchor. I just won't see it, right? Yeah. See that? See how the rod's beating like this? Yeah. That's him with his wings doing this. I bet anything. That's probably his wings. And it, we might have him foul hook. Sometimes you hook him everywhere else except the mouth. Right. Stalemate. People talk about this. This is 30 pound braided line. 
a Chinese 30 pound braided line called Hercules. I use it on all, most of my reels. And you go on Amazon, people are like, oh man, I hooked the bass and that stuff broke. What? I call it, uh, that's called user error. Because I got a whole spool of it right here. And what do we have on? It ain't no pond bass, that's for damn sure. It's probably a giant stinger. Have you ever had something on that you ran out of line on and just... Uh, the only time I really lost line was I foul hooked a dolphin in the okay. dorsal fin. Yeah. He smoked out 400 yards. <coughs> and like, before I could walk from where you are to here, yeah. it was all gone. And we look out behind the boat, you see him flying through the air with this shimmery stuff hanging off of him. Well, one come right up behind the boat, and we hooked him right in the doors of there. He takes off like a bat out of hell, man. Yeah. Yeah, I found another use for the Just Grab It glove. This usually is for grabbing trout because we're so slimy. Come on, show yourself. What you read. Oh, it just popped. Just like with the tube. Just went boink. Alright, don't believe half of what you read on an Amazon reviews. Okay, let's see what's gone. Everything popped. That's a lot of fight on 30 pound braid right there, folks. Yeah. Clean break. Right there. Alright, well, sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. Oh, hey, let me, I'll flip him off for you. Alright, I'll be back. Bad to the bone, the bone, do 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 is the jigging master wiki jigging light tackle level wind lever drag wiki jigging reel wiki from jigging master i think just means you know it's it's their light tackle type stuff look at that gorgeous SOB right there. I mean, you can get these in all different colors, but I chose because of the color, sort of the colors that are in this Ugly Stick Tiger Light to put this on there. Jigging Masters in Taiwan, all of their tackle is so state-of-the-art. It's just unbelievable. I mean, who would have come up with a light tackle jigging reel that's lever drag level wind and then it has what the like the newest Daiwa Saltiga has you push that in and it literally locks the spool so you can pull out snags if you have to it is a thing of beauty they give you this right here which is called a finger fence you're you're supposed to be able to stick your finger right on this little notch piece they put on there to help you cup this reel when you're jigging. Now, Pony Lou, I think his name, or Lai, he is, I guess, the president of the company. I mean, if you don't believe how good these reels and even their rods are, just go look up Jigging Master on YouTube and watch this man test his equipment. I've never big been big into thumbing a reel back and forth. I mean, come on. 
I mean, I'm not catching 50 pound groupers and stuff like that. I'm talking big reds, sharks, maybe tarpon, snapper, maybe grouper, sea bassin, I don't know. This is just to complement my arsenal.